That's the shirt I got you at SeaWorld with Mommy. It is, and I think it's really appropriate because this shirt is all about fishing and gonna protect me from the sun. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time I'm afraid of Joe's drink. You'll be alerted to it. It is early. It is very early, but I feel We've very- We've been up since 4 a.m. I feel very awake though. I went to bed early last night. I was tired and part of it is because I got myself sunburnt the other day mm -hmm. like significantly i was trying to it was purposeful in that i was trying to tan an area but i was in the water on the perfect raft perfect conditions for the day it had been raining previous days so it was like i was just taking in all of the sun and i took in too much sun yeah it was like a, i tipped it and, and, and got my belly burnt. I came home from work and I'm like, Rachel, you need to come out of the sun. Five minutes. Five minutes. That's all it took was five more minutes. Five more minutes was a problem. And it, it, it's because it's like lower on my tummy area and it's not an area that is usually exposed, exposed. to the sun. Right. So so I, I'm a little bit concerned today because we're going to be donning our scuba gear. Yep. And so I have to hook it right around that area. Yeah. Do you like that raft? I love that raft. So that raft is the one that you can rent when we go on the 2024 Keto Cruise. Oh. So since I've already booked mine. Yes. I'll, if you're going on the 2024 cruise, go ahead and go book your like rental of raft. It's like $15. If <laughs> it goes cheaper later, you can always readjust it. You can adjust the price. but. I, I didn't want to say anything until we got ours first. You wanted to make sure like, you had a raft? Do you know the beds are already gone? Really? Like the beachside beds. You're you talking to, about there's a day. Not, not the $4,000 cabana. Just like they have like beds that you can lay on. They have like a little umbrella. They're not really super expensive. They're gone. You're talking about the day where you go to Royal Caribbean's. Coco K. Coco K. Yeah, the the day beds are gone already. They're gone. Well, I mean. I wasn't going to be spending that much money. To well, no, they're, one. they're pretty reasonable, like a hundred bucks or something like that, depending for the day. Not bad, especially if you have a bunch of people. That's really not bad. It's more money on the ship than on the beach. But I feel more. But the four thousand dollars for the cabana still available, still available. Well, some of them are gone, actually. So that's. I guess some people got money, ain't us. We're gonna be having the $20 raft and I am very excited about that. So today we get to give back a little bit. Yes. So we've enjoyed our scuba diving and uh, we have our own gear and uh, there's a local dive shop that is sponsoring an event and our dive shop, which is Undersea Sports in Fort Lauderdale, uh, we've teamed up with them and we're gonna be heading to the Deerfields Pier today to do a cleanup. So the the other dive shop does this every year um, because they're based in Deerfield Beach. Nice. And so they get Deerfield Beach to shut down this very popular fishing pier. Like it is super popular. I'm sure that people that want to go there are not very happy today. But what they're going to do is they shut down the pier and then all of us as divers, we go into the water and we will spend a few hours cutting away all of the fishing line that's like tied up underneath the pier, all of like the the weights and sinkers, 
all of the garbage that everybody throws off of the pier and we're going to clean up the ocean a little bit. As much as it's an inconvenience to not have access to the fishing today, I think ultimately everybody will be thankful because if you've ever cast your line into the water and got hooked on somebody else's garbage, like it's really frustrating. So I think that it's going to be better for the fish, better for the fisher people and uh, just better for everybody. It'll be cool because we'll, we'll try to get some video because we'll, we'll, we go in as buddies, obviously. So I'll probably do a lot of the cutting away, although Rachel has a dive knife as well. And then she'll kind of be like the, the guard. Uh, but she'll, I'm sure, grab some stuff as well. And I'm going to try to give you the GoPro a little bit to kind of film it. But I'm sure you'll see some cool fish because... It's under the pier. Right. And there's always a lot of fish under the pier. And usually you can't dive near the pier because fishing fish are, lines coming yeah. over. So uh, it should be a lot of fun. Um, we'll be hanging out with Missy, a few other divers from the shop. Um, they got all kinds of promotional things. We get a t-shirt, a bag. And then we just get to hang out on the beach for a couple hours afterwards. So super excited about that. And then tonight... Father's Day. We're doing Father's Day dinner. I probably should call Texas Roadhouse and see. You can't make reservations. Oh, you can't make a reservation. You no. can like get into line early. You can get into line early, but we're not like it, it's. It'll be a little bit more difficult because we're not going to the one close to our house. So, yeah. But that and it, getting all of your kids together at the same time, it was just easier. Like, listen, let's just do it on Saturday. And this way on Sunday, I can get up, I can go to church, and then I can relax, right? And we don't have to worry about, can we squeeze ourselves into a restaurant or something like that? So we are going to head to the beach. So we made it to the pier. Everybody is starting to get set up. This is actually an international fishing pier. There's just a lot going on right now. We're going to actually find Missy and get our gear set up for the day. So we're definitely not alone in purpose today. There are more than 600 divers here for this under the pier cleanup. So excited to hear that. Everybody's really excited in jazz because we love our oceans. We, we love the opportunity to scuba dive and we got to keep it clean if we're going to enjoy it for years to come. I'm really hoping that one day we will get Peyton scuba diving. In order for us to make that happen, we've got to keep the ocean clean for her.
that was amazing. <laughs> that was an incredible dive. Like, you know how they say you you get more of a blessing out of trying to bless others? I feel like we went to go bless the fish and oh my goodness, it was like the little mermaid down there. I've never seen so much fish life in one place ever. You did so good. Sorry about my Especially hair. with the equalization because like you had to keep equalizing because you were in like eight to 10 feet of water. It was wild because like the first time we started to go down, it's same water and it felt fine. So I was like, oh, okay, maybe I don't have a problem with it. This, we, we surfaced, went on a second portion of the dive and it was like, ow, everything hurt. So it was just funny that, you know, it's it's a never ending battle to, to try to figure out this equalization thing. So what did you see? I saw a lot of sea life that I had not seen before under the water. Octopus. That was the first time that I had seen an octopus in its in its wildlife settings. The first time I've seen a real school of barracuda. There were a lot of barracuda. Um, I uncovered a nurse shark. High five, you didn't High freak five. out. I did not freak out, that was really cool. And then we saw a lot of um, fish that I kind of associate with a pier, like a snook and stuff that were in a large school. And although I've seen them from the surface looking down, I've never been in the midst of them. And there was just so many schooling fish. I really hope that the video can convey it because it was just millions of fish. Well, hello, father, nearly to Father's Day. How are you feeling? I'm tired. Saturday before Father's Day. I'm a little bit sleepy. I always get a little tired after you go to the beach, you swim around. We have been up since 4 a.m. But I'm excited because the kiddos are gonna meet us over at Texas Roadhouse today. We're gonna celebrate Father's Day for Joe as well as John Paul's very first Father's Day. Everybody is kind of busy on Sunday. You know, people are attending different church services, um, different campuses for our family. So it's just easier to do it the day before Father's Day than to do it on Father's Day. Also, there's always gonna be longer lines on Father's Day. Also, I assume there's going to be a really long line at the golf course tomorrow. We're going diving tomorrow. We're going to go diving tomorrow. That's what Joe wants to do. Let us know in the comments, what do you like to do for Father's Day or Mother's Day as a celebration? I always like seeing what people like to do to treat themselves. Um, for Joe, it's going to be a dive with his honey bun right over here. That's going to be me. So what are you going to be ordering tonight at Texas Roadhouse? Do I even have to ask? I have actually been thinking about this because Rachel and I were talking earlier, like, what is your go-to restaurant? And I've just gotten to the point my go-to restaurant is a Brazilian steakhouse. I love that Because I too. can't make up my mind. Right. I'm like, I'm not a super decisive person. I guess, like, I just, I'm not. No. And... I like variety. A little bit of everything. I do. I think that's why I like I enjoy the Windjammer buffet so much on the cruise because Any buffet. I can have a little bit of everything. And when it comes to going out now, since I really do want meat, um I like going there. Now I love Texas Roadhouse, but I'm trying to decide do I want the broccoli? I love the broccoli where we load it up cheese, bacon, and sour cream, but do I want it? And my mind and my taste buds are going, yes, you want it. Absolutely. But my stomach is going, do you want to deal with the bloat? It's not the broccoli, it's bad. It's that I don't eat it very often. So sometimes I get bloated and oh, by the way, I'm also going to mix it with a whole bunch of cheese, which kind of brings in some puffiness and things like that. You've been really good with cheese this week. Can I just compliment I've you been on a that? Little bit better with cheese this week. Way but, better. So I may get the broccoli, and then I think I'm going to probably do prime rib. I've been going back and forth. Do I want New York strip? 
do I want prime rib? Hopefully they have prime rib. Yeah, that's the that's the big yeah. Hopefully that they have prime rib. Of course, that's what I'm gonna order. And lately, ever since we've been going to Texas Roadhouse recently, our most recent trips, I double the salad. I just tend to like the double salad more. I mean, it's got cheese and everything on it, but I'm like Joe, I like a variety. I like the textures that come with a salad because you know you've got some crunch and stuff like that. So I'm probably going to order a double salad as my two uh, sides. So you are at Texas Roadhouse, yep. so surrounded by the kiddos. Yep. All of the beautiful families. I so got, beautiful. I got a card about the thermostat. This is accurate. So I recently made it so that you can't lower the thermostat more. He is all about the thermostat. The That's most the beautiful best picture right there. photo in the entire world. Let's see what you got. I knew it. <laughs> it says, Happy Father's Day from all your kids and grandkids. Oh, wow. Oh wow, guys! <laughs> this is awesome. We went JC Penney style. Yeah. <laughs> I look at these great photos. Oh my gosh! Wow. Good job, guys. You broke Opa over here. This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Because Michelle's idea and talking yeah. to the pictures. Wow. <laughs> we got all our kids together. How precious is that? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is awesome. This is awesome. Is there a dress in here? From Altered State. Oh, thank you, guys. I have a card that's at home. I figured I'd give it to you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> On Father's Day. Oh, he dropped the dress. <laughs> it's supposed to that. So it's a tripod that fixes your wallet. So and this is a remote that can take the picture. Huh. Oh, cool. So if you can't take your like tripod thing with you somewhere, this will fit your wallet. That's awesome. That's actually really rad. I am so sorry, but I ate my gigantic salad. They just took the plate away, but it was like a double house salad. Had like three or four great tomatoes on top of it. Lots of cheese, and I got um, blue cheese dressing. And now, thankfully, Joe stopped me before I completely finished this 16 ounce prime rib. Completely smothered. And I love the horseradish sauce and also the au jus. So I did opt for the broccoli because cheese, because I have a cheese problem. Um, so we've got a double order of broccoli, bacon, it's bacon. Sour cream, cheese, lots of butter on there. Then Rachel's gonna get jealous over this one. They did put mushrooms on my primer, and I don't like mushrooms, but that's okay. <gasps> but look at your fat! Look at the fat piece on there. Sorry, honey. Like, Man. But you already cut into yours, so this one is mine. And then uh, the creamy horseradish, I probably want more. Of course, I've got my red mint. I know we look weird when we bring in our own salt, but it's red mint. So, uh, yeah, that is going to be dinner. And just like that, you got three little birds that are all grown up. I know. Everybody's going in their own different directions. Is One it of them weird? has a baby. One of them has their own baby. Yeah. Is it is it wild? It, <clears throat> it is definitely, like, weird. Like, I don't feel old. I don't, you know... I'm 52 years old, but I feel like I'm 25. I know I act like I'm 25. And 
just the thought of the fact that, yeah, I have three adult children. Um, they all drive. They all have jobs. John Paul's got a baby. I mean, it's just, it's really wild. Does it make you want to stay well in your body? Would that alone be reason enough to stay keto? Oh, yeah. I mean, listen, I started keto to lose weight. I stayed keto because of all the health benefits. Now it's like I have a grandbaby. I have two more boys that like I still want to see get married and and have children of their own. And so that's like the new thing that like keeps me going. I want to be able to spend time with the kids and with my family. So we are home and I'm gonna have a little bit of dessert. I'm having a half of a raspberry cheesecake creamy and then I have a little bit of ratio granola on top. It is not Saturday. It is Sunday and this little feller's good. Oasis vibe. So John Paul um, told me about this new flavor of Celsius. Prickly pear lime. And uh, I, he let me have one sip of it like two months ago and I've never been able to find it. And I finally found some in our Publix. He keeps telling me, well, Target has them. I'm like, well, our Target doesn't have it. There's so much stuff that's different between stores. It's incredible. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And I'm not usually like a pear person. It has not dethroned Peach Vibe for me. Peach Vibe for me. It's so weird. Is my vibe. And you guys know, I do not like peach things. Mm -hmm. But Peach Vibe. And I know. Somebody's probably typing a thing right now. Stop drinking Celsius. You don't need it. I'm going to do it anyway. I don't need anyway. a lot of things in my life, but every once in a while, I like having it. I'm not really even drinking it for an energy drink. I'm just drinking it because I like the taste of it. And for the most part, it is a little bit cleaner than even drinking like diet soda because it doesn't have like a lot of the different colorings in it. It does have some beneficial ingredients like taurine it's got vegetable juice for coloring uh guarna seed extract extract green tea extract you know if you're okay with sucralose as a sweetener i don't have a problem with it it's 10 calories it's zero carbs we're gonna round it up to one carb so overall i really do like we don't work for them we just really really like them hey used to be for breakfast i had a stock pot of frosted flakes <laughs> We're doing better, right? Is it is it perfect? Is this, now it's is this, Celsius in a can of whipped cream. Is this a, gl a glass of uh, of water? No, it is not. But it is also not a, a stock pot of Frosted Flakes. We had such a good time yesterday. It was amazing. You know how we always say you're you're blessed to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. And you always feel like when you volunteer or you try to help someone else you honestly get so much more back. Yeah. And this felt like a tangible thing yesterday because here I am picturing my mind as we go into the water, pieces of trash and maybe a, a little cartoon fish in my thoughts going, good job, Rachel. Thanks, <laughs> thanks for that. Instead, we got the entire under the sea cast of characters to greet us and I felt overwhelmed by the amount of, of ocean life. It's almost like the fish know, nobody can catch me here, so I'm gonna hang out here. Yeah, that right? must be it. Because, I mean, listen, I dive a lot. I mean, I haven't been diving as much the last couple of weeks because we've been doing so much traveling, but I dive a lot, like generally two or three times a week. I've yet to see an octopus. I've out never on our reef system. People keep telling me, oh, schools. we have octopus all over the place and I can't ever find one. And then we go on a pier in less than 10 feet of water and there's an octopus there. There is an octopus. There's a giant ray just kind of hanging out. And by the way, good job not freaking out when he came swimming by. Thank you so much. Tabitha, are you okay over there? <laughs> 
She just got a bath and she's doing her like summer shed. Yeah. So she wants to kick off any dead hair and it is everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. You look at a Labrador Retriever and you're thinking, that dog's got short hair. It's not going to shed very much. No. Do not purchase a Labrador or adopt a Labrador Retriever thinking that it's not going to shed in your house because it sheds all all the time lots and lots of hair uh, but no so you always say like the biggest thing for scuba diving for you is you're afraid to see something big so and lots of big stuff here comes like a five foot ray now i mean the footage that i have is him sitting there on the bottom but when he but floats past you he came swimming like right past you and you were just like that was cool i think discovery, discovery cove, cove helped you yeah because if you ever have the opportunity to go to Discovery Cove, I highly recommend it. Even if you don't do the swimming with the dolphins. Right. No, you don't need to do that at all. I would just go swim, like snorkel, like get the mask, get a, get a good mask, a good snorkel, and take it there and be swimming around with these giant creatures to understand that they just don't care that you're in their vicinity. Right. And they care even less when you're in the ocean. Right. They're just like, oh, another another thing, you know. If I don't like you, I'll swim away from you. Yeah, but you can see in that footage, they literally just come right up to you. They don't even move as you're swimming through them. They're like, whatever, you know, yeah. not not my food, so who cares? Um, but overall, no, it was really good. And it's, it's amazing where you do talk about, you know, getting going out to volunteer and then I walk away a lot of times feeling guilty. Like I came here to help and I feel like I'm getting more than I'm giving. And yeah. I felt that way yesterday. Like I seriously went there so that we could clean up our pier so that we can get the fishing line off so that we can protect our fish, protect our reefs. And we ended up having so much fun. You know, we won a couple of the raffles. Yeah. Um, we saw amazing sea life and I felt like I got blessed. It's the same thing with our channel. You know, we started this channel because we wanted to help people. We wanted to be a blessing to people. We wanted to you know, like help people to have a community. And I selfishly feel like a lot of times I get more back from you guys yeah. than we give. I feel that way too, that we wanted to be a friend. And instead and we, we have friends. And we weren't thinking that like, people would accept us as their friends. Yep. We just wanted to be a friend to other people, but the friendship has become a, a true two-way street. Like and we're so thankful for that. Our closest friends. Keto people. They're keto people. And not just like speakers or YouTubers. I'm talking about like subscribers. you guys. Subscribers. Yeah. I think about you and, and Sarah and you like text and talk every day. I mean... Just, and you know, Anthony DiPetrillo. I mean, just like our closest friends have become you guys. And, yeah. and I'm so appreciative of that. And then, you know, we have this amazing dive, cleaning up the reef, see all that sea life. And then to end the day with family. It don't get no better than that. Yeah, and the kids got me to cry. Like, that's always my goal when I give Rachel a present. Like, I want to make her cry. And, and I know, what do you mean you want to make her cry? I, tears of joy, right? I, I like to see tears of joy years ago. I mean, this, I think we were married a year and I took all three boys and I took them down and we got pictures taken, professional photos at like JC Penny. It was just, just the four of us. And that was her Christmas present. I, and I had them framed. I was broken. You cried for like an hour. And that was like, yes, that's what I want every year. It's become a little bit more difficult to get you to cry. It's funny though. Um, so Michelle and Caleb had sort of given me a heads up about what the gift was for okay. you. And so, you know, Mother's Day, all the moms like want their kids uh, like all together, every all family, like all the family together. And sometimes dads, like in Father's Day, not everybody, but a lot of times dads can be like, hey, you know, let me go ahead and go play around to golf and have almost like solitude instead. Like, right. let me be in control of the clicker and just like watch the game unapologetically today, you know, and not have to go do anything, no honey-do list or anything, just kind of like 
you know, in your case, maybe just go dive or something like that. You could have just even gone on your well, own. Well, what I really want to do today for Father's Day was go diving. You and I go diving. But the weather outside is not really nasty. And I'm sure it will clear up because now we've decided we're not going diving. Um, but that's okay. We'll just, we're going to go to church and then hang out with but, each other. But, and so you were kind of like, hey, let John Paul off the hook. It's his first Father's Day. Let him, let everybody just do their own thing. And I thought, there's no way. Like, we need to get together and at least have dinner so that they can be there to see your face when you get this gift. Because I knew you were going to freak out when you saw it. And, like, it was because it was so touching. Yeah, so what they did was um, they got together and Tasha took photos of all three boys with Michelle and Peyton and gave me like a little photo album and it was like really, really cool. We'll Beautiful. share it on Keto Beyond the Couch. By the time you guys see this, you if you've watched Keto Beyond the Couch, you're going to have already seen the pictures, but it was know, sweet. It was it was just a great day. Texas Roadhouse. Haven't been there in a while. It's been a minute. I have to say that um, the only downside of ever going to a Brazilian steakhouse is whenever it you go anywhere you else, for everywhere else, you're thinking to yourself, this is not unlimited. Like this prime rib right here, this is the meat. Yeah. This is it. Unless I order something else. So there is something magical about a, an all you can eat steakhouse, yeah. all you can eat barbecue, all you can eat. Is, and and is it's truly my honestly bit. gotten to the point where it's not much more expensive to go to those places because, yeah. I mean, the prime rib was 30 bucks. And then, you know, you're kind of going, okay, I don't really want the sides, but it comes with it. And if I don't get the sides, they're still going to charge me. Right. And then by the time I put on the toppings that I want on my steak, like mushrooms and onions and and the cheese, it's like $37 or something like that. By the time you tack on like, you know, everything else, before you know it, you're a 50 bucks a person. So I'm like, I might as well spend $50 a person and go to Texas Day Brazil. Or check and see if there's some sort of a loyalty program like Texas Day Brazil usually has where you can get a discounted Then you're only paying rate. half price, yeah. which is really good because uh, we are going to go to Orlando this week because John Paul and Michelle um, are going up there. John Paul has like continuing education for his electrical business. I think he has to like learn new code or something like that. So they have an Airbnb. So they said, hey, come hang out with us. So yes, please. they don't know is that we're going to either on Wednesday or Thursday go to Texas Day Brazil. Yay! Surprise. Uh, because we do have the 50% off. And I makes it doable. The Orlando one to me is the best one I've ever been to. The service there the service is, there is amazing. Really nice. Anyway, we got to get to church. So uh, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take out the most recent video that I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon. And that way, every single time it's Father's Day, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.